Well, look, I just don't agree with it at all. I really don't agree with it. I don't like it. No, well, I'm sorry, Dad. We, we need a new presenter. They don't like it. They don't like what they're seeing. Well, they don't like what they're seeing. They don't get any better than me, that's for sure. So what are we going to do? I don't know. I think we need someone else. We've got to get someone else on the show. Yeah. All right. Well, you're, you're, the, you're the boss. You're the director. <laughs> OK, quiet on the set, please. I really don't think we need anybody. I don't we do. We need someone else. Who have you got? Are you going to tell me yet? No. Don't do it, Dad. Don't do it. <laughs> I've, I've always been your presenter for... <laughs> for four years I've been a totally awesome presenter. I don't think I can be taken over. I know I could do this. Mike's gone out. I've got the whole camera crew. Are you here, guys? The whole camera crew's here. I'm going to give it one last shot. I know I've got to change. I know I'm dated. I know I'm archaic. But more important, I know I can do it. All quiet on the set, please. Uh, Mr. Graham Pullen, uh, new presenter, trying to retain his job as totally unpaid. And it's quiet on the set. Action, turnover, and... Roll video. Hello, Dabba. Welcome to the Tangerine Auto Vision Show. Today, I'm going with Mark Pullen and we're going fishing for perch. Hope you enjoy the show. I'm the new presenter, Graham. I am the best presenter in the world. Oh. Very funny. <laughs> Mr. Eight Ball, <laughs> corner pocket. Well, thank God he's finally stepped down as presenter. He really was getting a bit of a big head. Anyway, we're doing some perch fishing tomorrow, and perch, for those that don't know, are probably my favourite freshwater fishing species. Uh, but I'm going to be doing something slightly different. Rather than use kind of conventional, either light tackle carp gear. Um, or just feeder fishing rods and things like that, float fishing rods. I'm actually opting for my sea fishing, uh, light rock fishing rods, so LRF rods. Um, they're usually, I chuck out really light lures with these. Uh, one is six foot long, one is about seven foot. Uh, one casts one to eight grams, and the other one casts about four to 21 grams, I think it is. So super sensitive tips, really light rods. I'm only fishing not even a rod length out, that's my plan anyway. Um, the swims that uh, I've been, to, we've been to this fishery before, and the swims that we fish have lots of kind of snaggy roots and things like that. It's a real perch heaven. Um, I'm using the simplest of gear, really. I've spoken about the rod already. The reel is just a small kind of two and a half thousand to three thousand size reel. Um, I'm using straight, just mono on the. This is monofilament line, about ten pound line, and that comes down to I'm using what's called a link ledger. Link ledger is actually an incredibly simple rig. All it is, is here's my main line here, um, and on the end of that I've got a swivel that can slide up and down my main line. Hopefully you can see that, because down here, coming off on, an, on another bit of about three inches of mono, is just an SSG shot. And that is all the weight that is needed. It's really, really, really light tackle stuff. That's on my main line, 10 pound. That goes down to a swivel, which is here, and then my hook link is... Uh, about seven pound, it's called Stroft. It's ultra thin, but it's super strong line. Um, and that's tied on to either a size six or sometimes a size four I use or an eight. Any of those hooks. I mean, size six is a good uh, middle of the range sort of sized hook to use. It's a barb barbless fishery, so barbless only hook. So I'm using barbless hooks, obviously. And the bait that I'm using is just a single prawn. You cannot get much simpler than this. Well, that's the, uh, the tackle and the terminal gear all explained for you. Dead simple. Uh, we're only going for a short session. It's winter time. I can only, unfortunately, at the moment, I can only go fishing on the weekend. So it's just a real short afternoon session. Let's get down to the fishery and see if we can catch some perch. Oh, this is real good. Perch? Yeah, we're in. Rebate up. New prawn out. Oh, your, your bite line's going. Hit it. <laughs> oh no, the popping's up, what do I do? 
I'll leave this running for you, Mike. Hang on a second. This time on the LRF rod, quite nice actually to have a bit of a change. Oh, decent definitely, perch, definitely yeah. a fatty. That is a nice uh, perch, that's a nice perch. Yeah, we came for about a pound. But the fact is, yeah, pound a quarter pound. Yeah, uh, uh, on that blink ledger, let's see where he's hooked. I'll give you one pound six on that one. Well, it's a nice perch, definitely a chubby one for its size. Um, well, I can hear your bite alarm going. We're starting to get a few bites. It's getting later in the afternoon now. Hey, colder. And it's colder. The wind's sort of picking up a bit. It's a nice breeze, cold breeze. But they're on the bite. That's the main thing. The prawn's doing the business. Worth moving. Yeah, definitely. We'll get a quick still photo and then we'll get him back. Oh, there we go. I don't want to get too cold hands, but there he is. Off straight back. Nice okay. job, bait in the water. Yeah. Well, we're in the middle of a perch fishing session and we're actually going to cook some lunch today. I say lunch, we're going for a pot noodle, guys, so it's not really uh, the healthiest of options. But um, I just thought I'd quickly chat to you about this little um, cook set I've got here. I've actually done a review of this cook set on our other YouTube channel, Totally Awesome Outdoors. There's a link in the video description. If you haven't gone over to t our other YouTube channel, we upload regularly on there all the time. Uh, bushcraft videos, shooting videos, DIY, all general outdoor videos. We've even got some fishing ones on there. Definitely head over there, guys, because there's lots of really cool stuff that we, you know, we're uploading regularly. So this is actually a Trangia spirit burner, so it's literally an alcohol stove. So that's lit. You can't actually, I can feel the heat off that. You can't see that flame because it's methylated spirits. It's almost invisible that flame. The way it works is that's burning away in there now. The flame will start to come through a bit later. You just pop this down there. That grid there. You get your water, this is one of the uh, Patton 58 Osprey NATO bottles. Pour a bit of water in there. Into the canteen cup, the Crusader canteen cup. And you can see that flame now there, actually just about on that burner. And then I just pop that on there, it sits perfectly on there. I've got a little al handmade aluminium lid with a strainer holes, pop that on there and that's cooking away. That's the one option that I use when I want to pack light because the alcohol burner is much lighter than having to take this other option which I've got which is just a gas burner but obviously these gas canisters are heavier if you're backpacking and doing things like that this one I don't actually need a lighter it's got a sparker here just turn the gas on oh and there we go that's away again just use some water here it's only pot noodles so it's not Nothing special, pour a bit of water in. That just sits on top like that. And then it actually comes with a second lid, this cook set, which I pop on top, bits like that. So they're both, both burning away nicely now. I'm gonna pop a bit more water in that one. I'd say the gas one will obviously burn quicker, but if you're out there and you're looking for a bit of portability and lightweight stuff, then the Crusader cook system is definitely the way forward. What was that? <laughs> Hold on, what is it? What have you done? <laughs> your reel! <laughs> Where is your reel? I've got, I've got a nice perch. You've got a fish on! Oh, no. Where's your reel, Dad? Oh, what the? <laughs> what have you done? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Only Graham Pullen could just, do that. I just heard the splash. I was just filming <laughs> you from the bank. <laughs> right, that's one pound, one pounder in the bag. We'll add that to the weight. That's a PB. Oh, that's a PB reel. Tell you what, you know how they say they get, you get those old battered warrior fish? Why are I, still on I think, I think that, uh, that reel is one of the warriors. Well, I've had so many fish on and off this and it's plastic slidey one. <laughs> he just dropped it. <laughs> it's just straight there's a fish on. Is the fish on? Of course it's on, it's totally awesome. <laughs> there he is. Oh, it's a nice perch too. Oh, it is, yeah. Do. Chubby, aren't they? They've been feeding up. Yeah. Very, very fat. He's here. He yes. Ah, oh, there we go. I want a fish with both. <laughs> the reel and the fish. Well, there we go, guys. A nice, big, fat, chunky perch. See how thick it is across the back? I mean, look, it's not a monster fish. It's just a, what we call a nice perch. And I got my reel back as well. <laughs> what a result that was. Let's get it back because this is that sort of last hour in the winter between three and four o'clock when you might actually get decent fish. I mean, I'm happy enough with that one. I'm happy to get my reel back, to be honest. Come back. You come to daddy. Come to daddy. <laughs> That 
that's almost the biggest small perch I've ever caught. If you look at the belly on that thing, it shows they're feeding up this time of year. I'm actually trying a bit of a different technique. I'm not even using my bite alarm or anything now. I'm just free lining a single prawn with an SSG weight on there. Um, and it's really good fun. I'm just feeling the nibbles and then bang, they're quite aggressive takes. All I'm doing is touch ledgering. Uh, it's just something different. I'm not using my bite alarms. To be honest, I was getting cold standing there, you know, just watching the bite alarms. So I just did a bit of touch ledgering, just holding the line. Uh, basically just one single sh shot on the uh, line and just waiting for that bite. Nice perch, touch ledgering. That is awesome. It's really good, you just feel one sort of bump Big take, and then you just lift into it, and it's on. An LRF rod. LRF rod, really light tackle, right in the margins, rod length out. The rod's about 4 to 20 gram casting weight. So not technically LRF, but a nice, I've got my other rods 0 to 7 grams, so that is. But uh, really good fun. Nice perch. Really and you missed, you missed a couple others as well? Yeah, missed a few as well, but getting there now, just getting used to that feel of the bite. Have we got enough prawns left? Hopefully, yeah. Because <laughs> I we, want some. Have we got enough light left? <laughs> yeah. That's a PB! You've got it! This is definitely my PB perch, people. Touch ledgering. Oh, that's an <laughs> animal. Look at this! That is an animal, that, that one. <laughs> that's a PB! It must be. Oh my <laughs> god! That is a clonker. <laughs> that is a ridiculous perch! Oh my I can't unscrew it. <laughs> Excuse my language, I'm not even. Look at that! <laughs> <laughs> it's a large mouth. Bass. Oh my <laughs> god! It's a large this mouth. This perch bass. is insane! Big mouth, that eats what he wants, doesn't it? Oh man, that is. I don't, guys, we haven't got the scales, haven't weighed it, but Tell us what here you at Tony totally Awesome, we're not too bothered about weights, we're just bothered about giving you guys tips. Yeah. But for That's me, guys, one. this is oh, a, he's coming a back proud here, like... moment. <laughs> Look at the size yeah. of this perch. Look at the size of his mouth. Look at it. That is a monster mouth. That is, and he was hooked on the lip. I barely touched it down. Touch ledgering, people, Touch ledgering. with a prawn. Is that not the new sitting way? there. I'm just, I didn't even, I just thought, do you know what? I'm going to stand up and fish today. Look at it. That's an animal that one, yeah. That is an That's absolute... sort of 2, 2, 12 ish. If I hold him oh, up. Oh, it's there. a close to 3, 2, 12 just pulled 3. He's getting, he's getting there. Got to be my biggest perch, Oh, people. yeah, that is, yeah, that is. Love it, amazing fish. And I'm just going to zoom in so people see, look at the huge steep. Yeah, big hump head on, on his it. head. Big hump on his head. What a beauty! I'll just get the dorsal up here again. But that is He's ready to an go. absolute clonking perch for totally awesome fishing. Nice. Let's well get done. him back. Touch ledgered. Yeah. On again. On again. On the old LRS rod. Yes, please. Here he comes. I'm not a happy bunny at that. But he's in the net. Let's go and have a quick look. We've got to get going soon. Whoopsie. There we go. That's about the smallest perch you've had other than one, isn't it? They've all been a yeah, good size. they've all been good. Didn't close out on a big one, but guys, it works. Touch ledgering for perch. I've got a runny nose now. It's really cold. Great fun and uh, hopefully get back here to uh, catch some more perch in the future. I think we'll be back doing touch There'll be two people touch yeah. I think. That was pretty cool, yeah. Yeah, it's good. Let's get him back. Good method. Well, I really started getting involved with that perch fishing. Something about perch fishing when I'm doing it, you just go into your fishing mode, into the zone. I just stood there. I changed all my rigs, actually. What I did is, I did, instead of using that link ledger, I actually basically went to as simple as you can get. So I had my main line again. This time I put the SSG shot directly onto my main line, not on the uh, hanging link ledger. Still got the exact same hook length. But the technique I was using is called what's called touch ledgering. So I had the rod, basically the bait was a, a rod length out. Just, I lowered, that's how, how close in I was. I lowered the prawn down just, in, just outside the snags, about a foot or so away from the snags. And then tightened up to the line so winding with the reel, tighten up to the line. And the technique, all I did, if I, you probably won't be able to see this from here, but just using my index finger, I just laid the line straight from the bail arm. It came up and over my index finger like that. And I was just holding the line 
and then I could feel the bump bump of a perch and I'd say I only ever uh, allowed two bumps because generally the, the fish has had the bait. If, if you felt bump bump, hit into it. And all I did is just lift into it, feel it directly on your finger when you touch ledgering and it is an awesome experience. It's really, really good. It's almost as good as sight fishing. I'd say sight fishing is the number one adrenaline rush when you actually see the take, but touch ledgering when you feel the bite itself on your hand is really good and boy did it work. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video guys. Unfortunately, I didn't actually have my LRF small reel, so I actually opted for my cart reel, which is a size 6,000 reel. And do you know what guys, it works. Why would you change something if it works? Yes, it was a bit heavy for the rod, but if you're catching fish, you don't need all the latest expensive gear. You just need what works. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, like, comment. It's great to see, hear some of your feedback. And even more importantly, get out there and go perch fishing.